this is Frank from Wonko, and today we're going to talk about everyone's favorite subject, modems that we use for remote communications in our message boards. And this is the CloudGate 3G modem, which is our standard that we ship with message boards unless you request something else. We ship every kind of modem there is. We know all about them. Uh, but this is our favorite to ship because it does everything that a message board normally needs for remote communications. I'd like to show you a little bit about the modem and then we'll go look at it in the actual board. On one end here you see a four pin power plug. It's important to know where this is because sometimes we're going to pull that power plug out to reset the modem. There's also a reset button here. We don't normally use that for various reasons. We normally just unplug the power and plug it back in. Also, there's a power light right here. It says WN status. And if that light is not green, Unplug the power and plug it back in. I want to show you the back of the modem now. This is a part of the modem that you're never going to see because it's mounted up against the frame of the message board. There's a number here that you may need if you're activating this modem on your own service. If you buy a modem and data service from Wonko, we take care of everything for you. And that's the easiest and usually the least expensive way for you to get remote communications. But let's say that you're a city that has a really good government contract and a very low data rate. You may wish to activate our modem on your own plan. If you do that, you need this MEID number, and you can't see it without taking the modem out. But there's an easier way to get it, and that is email your friends at Wonko with your VIN number of the message board or call 1-800-972-0755. We need the VIN number and then we can tell you what MEID number we shipped to you. So now let's talk about the business end of the modem. This is where the signal from the message board goes in and out on this Ethernet connector here. And you see there's two little lights here, and they'll normally be lit when everything is on and working. The Ethernet is where the signal comes from the modem, from the cellular network, to tell the message board what to display. And it's also where the signal from the message board comes to say, yep, I got your request and I am displaying the message you want. Our message board checks to make sure that every pixel is lit correctly and that the right message is displayed and then it acknowledges a signal that you've sent so that you know for sure that the message you want is written on the board. And lastly, let's talk about the connectors and lights here on the front of the modem. There are two antenna connectors and they're the same but they're for different antennas. If you look at the last word on this one, you may be able to see GPS there. The last word on this one is main. Occasionally, someone will switch the antenna wires on the modem, and the GPS antenna will actually be connected to the main and vice versa. When that happens, the modem won't function right. So that's one easy thing sometimes to fix. Sometimes the ethernet cord will not be seated properly in here. If you just remove it and plug it back in, that will fix things. When the modem is working properly, it's going to be mounted like this in the uh, message board cavity, and you're going to see four green lights from the top. The bottom lights don't matter in normal operation. That's only if we're using a message board with a radio communicating with another radar, say, a device nearby locally without going through the actual cellular network. When we're using the cellular network, it's just the first four or five, actually it's five lights that matter. And the top one will be green when the signal is very good. If it's flashing green, it might work, the very top one. Uh, the next one is basically the, the um, it's the network light saying that you're connected to the cellular network. That will be red if the modem is on but you have not yet set up your Fleet Manager account if you're us using Wonko Fleet Manager or if you're not fully on the network. The next light down is the system status light. That's basically the power light. If that light is off, everything else will be off and that means the power cord is probably disconnected or something's wrong with power. And the last two here are for the uh, GPS antenna. The GPS will work whether you're on cellular or not the GPS antenna will function with this as long as the modem's got power and the GPS antenna is connected. And you'll see a green light if the GPS antenna is getting good signal. You're going to see on our board here in the factory that there's not a green GPS light today. 
And the reason is it's inside the factory. It can't see the satellites through the roof. So when you pull your message board in the garage, the GPS signal is going to go out. That's normal. And the GPS light at the very bottom is always going to be orange because GPS is an inactive device. It just listens. It's not transmitting anything. So we use an orange light to indicate that it's working, but we don't use a green light because that, that typically says that there are two-way communications going on. So that's what the lights are like. It's very hard to see these words when we're looking at, you know, when we're right at the message board. And that's why I wanted to show you this now. But now let's go to the message board and see how it looks in practice when the thing is operating. 